We're in the midst of the holiday season and many people find this time of year to be quite stressful and overwhelming. We often get caught up in the busyness of the season, managing expectations of others at the expense of our own well-being. But this year, you have to remember to keep your self-care a priority. Dr. Shiler Mergain joins us now to discuss some simple things that we can do to keep our well-being a priority this holiday season. Hi there. Oh, happy holidays. Yeah, you too. Happy holidays. So this is, we're here and mm. people, I mean, even just the weather just kind of gets you like, okay, another thing to add to the list to worry about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can feel quite overwhelmed and stressed and lose touch with the real purpose of this time of year. And it's so important to make our self-care a priority so we really can embody the, the spirit of this season. Self-care seems to be really, th those words have been thrown around so right. much during the pandemic. I almost feel like it's, it's losing its true meaning. So let's get people back to it. What do you suggest? Yeah, and I think one thing is to think about this time of year, one thing, simple thing you can do for your, your own joy that will bring a smile to your face, that will give a boost to your mood, that will lighten your load. It could be treating yourself to something, doing a, a specific activity, maybe say no to something yeah. might, <laughs> might really be um, helpful. Um, and think about who you're choosing to spend time with, those people who, you know, sometimes we do have obligations with certain people, mm -hmm. but make sure you're drawing in those people that really spark a, a lot of happiness for you. Is it important to keep some type of routine or just some like some habits that kind of put you in that place? It's easy to overindulge in sweets and treats. Mm -hmm. And so from a weight loss perspective, we often mm -hmm. talk about maintain, don't gain. But think about choosing one thing for your own health. Maybe it's hydration. Maybe mm -hmm. it's getting outside to move. Maybe it's eating some, some healthy fruits and vegetables or just getting a good night's rest. Can you talk about, I've been hearing this a lot too, about showing yourself compassion. <laughs> yes, it's so... And how does one do <laughs> that? <laughs> There's a simple... Let's, let's get real here. How yeah. do you do that? <laughs> we often are our worst critic and beat ourselves up and can get into this negative cycle. And so I want to encourage people to take a self-compassion break, which is simply in the midst of that holiday craze and uh -huh. feeling like you're in a daze, just simply stop. Take a deep breath, just noticing that overwhelm. And then recognize other on, others on the planet are feeling this too. You're not alone. And then do one act of kindness. You might put a hand on your heart, or give yourself mm -hmm. a little hug. You might say some words of kindness, like this is hard, but I'll get through this. And maybe it's just a, a kind act, like maybe you just need to take a break or cut yourself some slack. And it can be a simple practice that only takes a few, a few minutes, but it mm -hmm. can really help stabilize yourself. And then you'll have more to give because you're really filling yourself up with that good stuff, that kindness yeah. and mm -hmm. compassion and care. Because sometimes I think the Grinch had the right idea. He stayed in his apartment, <laughs> he avoided all of the stress, <laughs> mm -hmm. but it sounds like if you're mindful of all of the things that you talked about, you can snap out of that and hopefully find some things to enjoy. Yeah, and I love that because remember what's important to you. Maybe it's staying in your PJs <laughs> inside and not being sometimes. around others. Um, so give yourself permission to mix it up yeah. and plan mm -hmm. ahead of what do I want to achieve, what do I want to experience. Experience, what do I want to give? What do I want this time to be about? And plan ahead and make those things a priority. I like that. You could find some joy in saying no. Yes. To someone. No is a complete <laughs> yeah. sentence, everyone. That's great. Happy holidays yeah. to Thank you. you so Thank much. you so much. So grateful to be here. Happy holidays to you and everyone.